Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. So in this video I'd like to cover the benefits of being in a guild. Along with that I'll explain why I left my current one after like three and a half years of being there. That'll be at the end of the video. So first things first, the main reason to join a guild is the stronghold boons. You gain a choice of offense, defense and utility. And you can see this is about the maximum amount of boons you're gaining in a maxed out guild, guild hall 20. And these boons then each will provide a thousand item level in combination of the stats that they provide you. So an offense, you get 3000 of one of these following stats. You do have some unique boons, for example, these overload wards. I've never actually really tested them, but as far as I can tell, just by reading the tooltips, they should be pretty abysmal, like increasing a overload that gives you 10% extra damage, increasing that by an extra 10%, is not gonna do much when it already deals only like 5% of your damage, if not less. And then you have other unique ones like the Companion Ward and Slayer, which is completely outdated, that should not be here. And then like the Enhanced Slayer one, again, have not actually tested them out properly, but usually people just go with stats. I'm either Critical Strike, Power, critical severity or accuracy and that's the main ones you go with then for defense it generally doesn't matter but the best bet is defense or hit points or like incoming healing if you're a tank and utility it can be very important when you're running master content and you might die to have the revive sickness outside of that yes you could have extra team support with the group heal potion bonus but that got nerfed recently and it heals for next to nothing 10 percent of like like a healing potion does so if it would heal you for 300k it would heal everybody around you for 30k nothing and then there's movement speed and mount movement speed which is great and you could also have the healing potion bonus one there and then just use potions instead of stones of health but again revive sickness very important for end game master content and that's the main benefits of a guild you're gaining 3000 item level through these three boons the pvp ones are pretty irrelevant at this point and ultimately that's why you would join a guild for that basic character progress item level is a direct increase to your power your capabilities of your character now i'll put some gameplay here this is 20 versus 20 stronghold siege pvp great fun but we'll discuss guilds guilds as a whole can offer a lot more than just boons some people would say they're really important and personally for a new player joining this game guilds are really important now joining a guild can be a big social environment it allows you to meet new people make friends in the game and find people of a similar interests of you similar gear levels want to run the same content and it can be very helpful for that you may also have guilds which run certain events for example marauders running heroic farms running dragonflight those are all events you can all partake in if you're part of that guild and ultimately it can lead you to more character progress through farming guild marks and so on and ultimately the, the best thing of the guild is meeting new people hanging out with them playing with them building trust with those people so they get to know you and ultimately just learning the game having fun like one of the biggest benefits again is making friends in, in the guild once you once you get those friends that you're gonna regularly play with it gets easier and easier to complete content because you you get used to playing with that set group and you know how to respond with them you're your friends you give each other a lot more patience and room for mistakes more for forgiveness all around and uh, yeah ultimately a nicer environment than just playing the game solo personally I, I wouldn't have any fun in this game if I didn't have people to play with I'm, I'm not the type of person who enjoys a solo game and so running events just playing together forming groups together it, it can be a really huge benefit 
to be a part of a guild. You, of course, need to join the right guild. Some guilds at this point are just kind of dead. They, they, they're they just there for the boons. They don't do anything in terms of events. They don't do anything in terms of creating groups for content. Like, if you're a new player, you need all that support you can get. People to help you out in the game. People you can ask questions and they'll be willing to answer. Like, how do you do this? How do I do that? What do I need to focus on in, on my character next? Like, in terms of YouTube guides and everything, I do my best. But you can always get more hands-on help. Everybody's situation can vary a little bit. And so, a guild just being there to help you form successful, smooth groups to be complete your daily dungeon queue, your daily trial queue, to get those seals and rough astral diamonds, just very easy basics you can obtain, along with then outside of that events like marauders, heroic farms in the stronghold, and even dragonflight. They can all bring you together and all of those will contribute to ultimately progress your character. And otherwise, in the end, it's all about fun. Having fun, enjoying your time, and personally, I, I can't do that without people. So yes, guilds are not all about the boons. If you, if you need to join a guild which is not maxed out, which is not going to have the maxed guild boons, by all means do. As long as they're active, have people you enjoy playing with, that's all fine. It's not really going to matter, that small increase of item level and stats. It will once you are trying to min-max. Like, I can complete all content in the game right now without needing to be part of a guild, as it's been like over a week now that I did leave, and I'll explain why. But just again, I'd like to express, joining a guild is a huge part of Neverwinter. It's very important that you, you do so, that you engage in finding similar like-minded players to play with. Because without that, you lack this whole cohesion of forming a party. Because this game is all about completing content as a party. You, you need to have five people in your group to complete dungeons most of the time. And you need to have 10 people in your group to complete trials. And so having those people, having those spots filled with people you know, people you trust, makes it a lot easier to beat that content. A lot easier to give people patience and time to learn. And so you'll be a lot more successful than ever and you'll have a lot more fun times together with people you know. So, why did I go and leave my guild? Why did I leave the Crusaders? Well, you can see on screen here, here's my leave notice. This is my general explanation of what I wanted to say to my guild upon leaving. Now, the reason I'm putting this in a video is because, yeah, they, they wouldn't let me tell my guild that I was leaving. They wouldn't let my post stand there. They went and straight up deleted it as soon as I posted it. And I had left the Discord. I joined back then just to strip myself of my roles. And then I saw they deleted it. And so I posted it again, but then with a note that I need to be able to tell all the people that I pushed towards joining the Crusaders because I was a part of that guild. I trusted these guys and as a leader, as an officer in that guild, I had somewhat of a say with regards to how members were treated, what content we were running, and I was able to create groups and host events for the guild. And now I can't do that anymore. So I feel all those people that I advise to join the Crusaders deserve to know that I am no longer there. I can no longer support you. I am sorry. And I had a link below my videos for the entire time over the past more than a year by now that led people to the Discord server of our guild so that they could join. And over 200 people joined via that link. And a quick note on regards to my leave notice. If they didn't like how I worded it, I would have been happy to rephrase it. Would have been happy to talk about it. If that's not what they wanted the, the guild knowing, if they didn't want people to know my opinions of why I was leaving, sure, I want people to know why, but I don't want to cause a ton of drama. Yes, my notice may lead people to question the leadership in the guild, and they have every right to do so. They 
need to get their shit together. I'm sorry, but yeah, it's been a mess. Now, I'm not saying my time as officer was all sunshine and daisies and perfect. I made plenty of mistakes of myself. I made errors with recruiting people. I made errors with not communicating things properly. I made errors with sometimes the guild rules. And on top of that, there was a whole drama with regards to trying to make groups or master content. More info on that a little bit later. But my point being, I don't really care that they wanted to demote me. That's not the issue. They have every right to say whenever they want that they're displeased with my performance as a leader and they see it best that I step down. Not a problem. Just say it to my face, please. But they didn't. So my issue is how they went about it. How it was all done behind my back. Nobody was honest or open with each other. I was asking for clarity. I was asking for what they wanted from me. And I never got a straight answer. So with regards to creating groups for master trials and that drama, well, trying to make those groups as a hoster is a lot of pressure in order to try and complete. Nobody wants to join a group that is assumably going to complete the content and then not actually beat it because some person in there is newer than everybody else and is holding back the entire group. It's very shaming when you create a group that's intending to complete and then you don't and you let down all those people. So I did. Yes, I'm sorry it may have seemed like I was playing favorites, that I was selecting people who I wanted to join my group in order to actually be able to successfully beat the content. You may call me elitist with regards to choosing the people I want in my group, but the end goal was to actually be able to complete that content with guild members. And I've had a lot of failed runs in the past just due to one or two members who are much newer. We do host, or we did, host training runs where you would just simply have a run. Nobody's expecting to beat it and you're all there to learn and people who are there just to help know they're there to help and are not expecting to get the end chest after all their time and efforts. And ultimately, you can come to training runs, you can prove yourself and if you're good enough, and then we'll be more than happy to invite you to completion runs when we feel we can compensate for any mistakes that you may still make and so on. In the end, and it appears that the other officers lost patience with me. I would have liked to have some more chances. I would have liked things to be explained to be a bit more rather than things being hidden behind my back, letting them all build up to a breaking point and then them feeling they need to demote me, strip me of any power and end up how it is now. There was the whole drama with other officers leaving and they wanted to come back and I felt, yeah, it just was not really fair. But with all of that aside, it's what happened. I've left Crusaders. I'm done. I'm looking for a new place. So I mainly just wanted to let you guys know that I left. Those of you who are still in Crusaders, I am sorry. I'm no longer there to support you guys. I hope you are treated well and find people to play the content you want with. I had a great time in Crusaders, whether I was an officer or not. Just playing with people, having fun, creating groups. Like, you saw all the gameplay here of the Stronghold Siege. That was an awesome time back then. And ultimately, I, I tried my best to do what I could for the guild. And yeah, part of me is salty and hurt. And it's sad that it never seemed like enough. So if I find a new place that I feel is good and can support you guys and you guys need a home as well, then I'll let you guys know. But as of now, I'll just be floating around, hiding in the backgrounds and be basically using some guilds for some boons once uh, the new trial comes around.